Hey everyone, Mice Rang here. I figured out a way to beat the game with the Father of a Garcia shotgun. Watch this. Alright, fixed. So yeah, now our shotgun does 5 damage if we have no soul cards. We'll see how how this how easy this ends up being, or if it still ends up being like not great. Like is this gonna be too easy? Is it gonna be too hard? I'm guessing I'm guessing this is about the right level of gonna be about the right level of power. We'll see. One shotting pawns will be nice. And if we can just get a single damage upgrade, we'll be able to one-shot bishops and knights as well. And we can two-shot rooks. Um, like, that's fun. Alright, get out of here, rook. Um, I'm gonna keep one of my soul cards, I guess. Um, okay. I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna, maybe I'll, I'll let that pawn promote, and we'll get a soul card from it. Okay, queens have too much health to one shot, but that's okay, because we can just two shot them. Alright, yeah, so I do want to keep a soul card at the end of the floor. Okay, pawns are invulnerable. Um, okay, well, let's take a look at... Okay, steady aim and pawns are invulnerable. But they're really slow and there are less of them. So maybe that's fine. I think there were six pawns at the start of the level. So there would, there would be four then. Four pawns and they move every eight turns. Okay. And I get better accuracy. Or I could just take black market powder and do more damage. Bigger damage numbers are, are pretty good. Okay, we'll just have a... We'll have a super wide fire arc. And then we'll get rid of a single bishop, and it will still be pretty wide, but... It'll be manageable. Um... I think if I move here, we'll be... Like, we'll be able to shoot two times. Yeah, we'll be able to get the value out of our second barrel. Alright, goodbye, bell ringer. And, okay, so our fire arc is doubled for three pellets, which means if I'm not aiming at this pawn at all, at most I could accidentally hit it with three pellets, which will not kill it. So we do six damage now when we have one soul card. Which, yeah, means I can, I can have a soul card and still one-shot knights and bishops. Okay, um, I'm gonna move, yeah, I'm gonna go like that, because I want to be, well, you know, okay, I'll shoot the rook once, and then... I guess I gotta move back to the right. So that I'm not threatened by the bishop. Okay. Um well good thing we still have a soul card. Okay, come on. Uh, I could get stalemated by the bishop and king if I shoot the uh pawn right now. So we're gonna keep moving. I'm going to try to hit both of these pieces with one shot. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, we get that unlimited king's shoulders now. When we're on the edge of the board. Um, two bishops on turn 30, king on turn 30. I think this is a kind of a non-issue. Get extra turns on a king and kills. Okay. That'll synergize with cards that add kings. Okay, what does a swamp do? 
Um, add two pawns on turn 10, add two knights on turn 10. Knights get minus two speed. On turn 10, they get plus two speed, so it cancels out. So knights have minus two speed for 10 turns. Okay. So it's like, do I want to have two more pawns and knights on turn 10? You know, I just, I want, I want to just chuck pieces off the board. It's, it's funny. And, yeah. It's funny. I need to get off the edge of the board, though. All right. Um, I think I'll. Hmm. Like, do I want to just pick up the knight immediately? Okay. This seems. Yeah. This does seem better. And I guess we just toss the knight at the three health pawn. Um, oh, I can't make it to the edge of the board. Oh, yeah, I, I can, because I can go this, like this. And, okay. Wow, this rook is going to make it pretty hard to use my Ring King ability. Which is fine, because our shotgun is also pretty good. Uh, okay. Well, now we get to get rid of the rook. Which is what I wanted to do in the first place. Uh, yeah, get out of here. Alright. <laughs> yeah, what a fun card. I hope it never gets nerfed. <laughs> Alright. And then... At this point, the only potential threat is promoted pawns. Alright, um... Let's go... Yeah, let's kill that. That's guaranteed. And... yeah, this works. Excellent, we get a queen soul for our trouble as well. Fortunately, we can't pick up kings. Now that would be a little too powerful. Maybe, maybe not. But... Well, it wouldn't be too powerful in this kind of situation, so I've basically won already. <laughs> I could turn my gradual absolution gimmick into just a soul medallion gimmick. So, yeah, I have five base firepower. I would go up to eight firepower when I have two soul cards. I think even with the gradual absolution effect on this gun, soul medallion is good. Wait, I got two. Oh! I have one firepower right now. Hmm, yes. Alright, well, this is going to be a little creative challenge of killing stuff with my unlimited king shoulder. I mean, it's not going to be that hard, but, you know. You see, look at that. We already... Oh, you're minim you're, you get a hard minimum of one firepower. Yeah, because I should have had... I should have had, like, zero firepower. Or, like, yeah, ne I should have had a negative firepower, which would, I guess, sort of default to zero. No, I'm... Ah! Why didn't the queen just get to the edge of the board? <laughs> All right. Um, thank goodness this bishop is blocked by the pawn because that means I'm kind of more or less. Wait, what am I doing? Why did I go to the edge of the board? Why did I go to the corner? Like, I can get my get my ring king value without being on, in the corner. All right. Let's just. Um. Yeah, let's do this. Now we can chuck the bishop. Now we can chuck the rook. And... Alright. So 
So we do eight damage right now. Uh, yep. Just pick up this guy. The <laughs> the soul medallion looks like a red Koopa shell. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just get rid of the pawn. That other pawn's gonna promote. That's fine. Can we do 11 damage to this king before he like makes my life harder? Oh yeah, we definitely can. Yep. Okay. Do I want even more firepower? If I'm on... Add eight rubbles. Okay, where are the rubbles going to be? Yeah, rubble. I happen to know what a rubble is already. It's just a piece that does nothing. Okay. Or I could take... Add a queen every 15 turns. And... Bishops have a little less health. I'm... I'm curious if the eight rubbles, like, what... Oh, just, they're just on the back. Okay, I guess that wasn't too crazy difficult to figure out that that was what was going to happen. Yeah, that just gives me, an extra, like, like, one less row to work with. Okay, it's a little dangerous. Also means if I toss a piece into a rubble, then... You know, if I try to toss a piece upward off the screen, it's going to... Be tossed into the rubble instead. Okay, am I forced to use a soul card here? Yep, I sure am. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we just get another one now. That was a pawn. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's just. We're good. As long as we have at least one queen soul and one knight soul at all times. We have the maximum amount of flexibility with our soul cards. Oh, you know what I you know what I want to do? I want to pick up a rubble and throw it. Yeah, I'm gonna clear out the rubble. I'm a I'm a good Samaritan, evil king. Oh, it blocks the reinforcements from coming. Oh my goodness, because reinforcements can only come on the back row. Okay. Wow, that rubble actually ended up having an upside. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's that's funny. That th there's no there's no animation for throwing a rubble. Wait, okay. The king has 13 health. All right. Oh, I can I can start trying to put the king in jail now, if I really wanted to. But we're not about that life. We're not about the putting the king in jail life. Oh, I'll snipe the king right in between the two uh, rubbles. All right, please just. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the king's too smart. Okay. So. Yeah, purgatory. I guess, given that I have soul medallion, purgatory seems pretty good. It's like a nice insurance policy. Um. Overthrow royalty. Kill all pieces to win. Does that mean I have to kill the rubbles? <laughs> okay. Um, or I could just get the freebie of, you know, the knights can't actually show up if there's eight rubbles on the back of the board. Bishops' moves are limited to three squares. Yeah, I'll, I'll just make bishops, like, pathetic. All right. Um, okay, I, I do have to remember that I have a shotgun, and I can use it. It's like I would rather just pick everything up and toss it off the board, but, you know. Alright, um, I could just blast the bishop if I wanted to. I guess that would just spend an ammo when I don't have to spend an ammo. Extra turn. And 
Yeah, I might as well throw the knight into something. Well, good thing I have soul cards. Um, yeah, what's my... Oh, the bishop, that's a dark squared bishop. We're fine. Uh, hmm. I think I want to stay where I am. Yeah, and we'll see what the queen does. Do I have to use another soul card just to survive here? I think I do. Yeah, because I can't move to the right. Can't move down. Can't move diagonally. Okay. Um. Alright. I am really struggling here. Well, good thing I have so many soul cards. Soul slots. Either way. Okay, we get an extra turn when we kill a bishop. That'll give us a little breathing room. Um, we still only do one damage. I think I want to pick up this pawn and move downward. I could just, like... I'll pick up the pawn... Actually, I'm going to just... What if I pick up the pawn and chuck it at the bishop? And then hopefully the pawn... Yeah, I can do that again. <laughs> okay. Wow, I can't believe how close I got to just losing. I'm not out of trouble just yet, though. Um... Okay, we'll, we'll just go here, and then we can get rid of the queen, and I think we're fine at this point. Like, this pawn will promote... Actually, you know what? I'll just stop it from promoting. I'll have a knight soul, a bishop soul, and a rook soul. Which is, yeah, that, that gives me all the options I need. Okay, um... I need to figure out a way to, like, get this rook, to get, like, one of these rooks to allow me to chuck it off the edge of the board. Okay, like this, yes. Oh, I might as well use this, uh, use that rook soul since I can get another one. All right, then. Ooh, another eight runnels. <laughs> Ooh. Extra turn when I kill a queen. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, sure. Since reinforcements don't do anything, I'll take it. Yeah, what a fun combo. All right. Yeah, adding a second row of rubble also seemed like a dangerous idea. Now if I can get rid of... if I can turn the knight soul into a bishop or queen soul, I think that will... yeah, I mean, obviously I would want to do that if I can. Um, Alright, let's just get rid of this knight. Actually, you know what I can do? I... Nah, goodbye. Why did the bishop not approach me? Okay, well. Um Cause it has three it has three squares of movement. Okay. Wow, I forgot about that. Okay. I what the heck am I doing? I wanna be on the edge of the board and I just move to the one square that Okay, whatever, who cares? We're fine. Still fine. I uh, guess I just kind of chill here. All right, I do want the... Uh... Oh yeah, extra turns. Okay, cool. And... What am I doing? I can just get rid of the king. Huh. 
<laughs> That's fun. Okay, so I basically have to clear out the board every floor with Holy Sanctuary. That's fine. Knights moving orthogonally could be a problem. Rubble minus 40 health. Okay. Well, I happen to know that Rubble has 50 health. So if I do 10 damage to a Rubble, I'll get... I'll kill it and get 5 ammo and an extra turn. I mean, okay, I don't know. It gives me an option to pick up and toss a rubble for a, for toss a rubble off the board for an extra turn. Okay. Anyway, I think adding two knights is a little dangerous, and knights moving orthogonally it's probably also more dangerous than not. All right. Aha! Perfect. It moved to the to the square where I could reach it. Okay. I get an extra turn when I kill a bishop. Oh, but also the other bishop moved in the way. Okay. Uh, wow, I almost just like got checkmated by a queen. Okay. Okay, so now I can get rid of the... I can start getting rid of Rubble if I feel like it. Um, okay. I'm going to keep the bishop alive just in case I want to get its free turn later. Whoop, I meant to throw the rook off the board. Okay, um... I do 8 damage, which actually is enough to one-shot a queen. Even on... Even on a light square. So that's cool. Um... Ideally, I would also be able to, um start using the rubble for extra turns or whatever. Ah, bishop. Perfect. Um, okay. I do want the queen soul. A queen soul is better than... Yeah, I'd obviously rather have a queen soul than a rook or bishop. All right. Okay, definitely got to start killing these rubble. I don't know. So I have eight rubble, which means in theory I could just put the king in jail anywhere. All right, you know what? I'm just going to start shooting the rubble. Extra turn, extra turn. Amazing. I had a rook every 10 turns. I mean, <laughs> I don't care about reinforcements. Oh, both of these are... Hmm. I had a queen every 15 turns. Okay. Man. Rubble is such a... Such a powerful card. Just lets you not deal. It just lets you take all the reinforcements cards without actually getting any reinforcements. Um, okay, I guess I just like kind of shoot in place. And I do want the queen soul, which is why I did that. I mean, also, I guess I had to get out of the knight's way. You only do eight damage right now. Okay, and. Just Take our extra turn and be happy with it. Yes, as long as I never clear out any rubble, I don't have to deal with how many cards? Foreign Ministry, Judgment Day, Battle of Attrition, and Bad Rumors. That's four cards that I don't have to deal with at all. Cool. Oh, whoop. Um... 
Alright, I need to move. So the king doesn't force me to use a soul card. Oh, right. Okay, extra turn when I kill a queen, sure. All pieces plus one health. Well, I mean, I can do I don't care about health when I have when I have unlimited king shoulders. Um, okay, so all pieces plus one health, or I could say bishops plus one speed. But hmm. Extra turn when I kill a queen, that's fun. The more extra turns the better. Maybe I can get an extra turn. Maybe I get the, the Rook card, where I get an extra turn when I kill a Rook. Next. Um, Alright, well I can't get Courteous Jousting in this mode, because I only have modded cards in this mode. That's... But yeah, that's alright. Um... Okay. You have one health. Okay, cool. So, being able to... Yeah, so I guess the scariest piece now is the rook. I like how I buffed my firepower for this run and then didn't end up using my firepower very much because I just picked up everything and tossed it. Okay, so we get an extra turn when we do this, so... Well, you know, I'm just gonna do that. Extra turn, extra turn. I don't even need that extra turn, but yeah. All right. But it did help me get there, like having an extra firepower. Um, dark resolution. I don't know. It's like more accuracy. It, it, okay, it does give me plus one firepower as well. Yeah, let's just add more reinforcements. Yep. Oh, you lose your topmost soul. Which is fine for me, because I would rather... Wait, what? Did I just... Oh, I gave all piece... Wait, no. Oh, bishops plus one speed. Wait, why are knights so fast as well? What did I... Oh, judgment day. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right. Um. Uh oh, pieces aren't shaking when they're about to move. That's not good. It's just an issue with the game itself, though. Dealing with that in endless was so annoying. All right. So now that this king has 150 health, okay, this is just going to be boring. This is going to be a boring fight. Once I clear out everything except the king, I think I'll just, I think I'll just end the run. I'll just be like, yeah, I won. It's fine. Okay. So yep. Is there anything I have to worry about at this point? Not really. I definitely will use my queen soul to get over to the other side of the board so I can stop these pawns from promoting. Actually, um... Hmm. So in two turns, these pawns are going to move. In two turns, the rook is going to move. Okay, this is good because I can pick up the pawn, move, throw it, and then... Oh, whoops. Okay. Actually, I might have just, like... Oh, wait, no, the, the rook is going to move eventually, and then I can... Yeah, and then it'll come up to me, and I can deal with it. 
Okay, two. Yeah, I think just to play a little safe and make sure we don't get wrecked by the Giant King. All right, well. I guess at this point, I potentially have to care about the uh, pawn, which means I guess I'll go over here and deal with it. So, yep. We did it. As, as it turns out, the Ring King is pretty good, and also Rubble is a pretty nice combo with cards that give uh, reinforcements. There are five of those. That, five cards, five white cards that give reinforcements, and they, you know, they were almost completely neutralized by the uh, by the eight Rubbles. I could put the could put the King in prison, but nah, I don't feel like it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you next time.